What's going on guys? I'm Andrew and today we're going to be viewing this new 2024 Forest River Vibe model number 31 HB. Of course the HB is going to be standing for hidden bunk and I feel like once one manufacturer has made something unique on the market everyone tries to make their own brand of it and that's exactly what Forest River Vibe has done with this new model. And yeah this this thing almost killed me a second ago. I'll try to maybe leave a clip right about here showing you exactly what happened. Everyone, I'm Andrew and today we're going to be viewing a really Jeez. This thing's extremely interesting. It's got a lot of nice features on the inside as well as the out. I'm extremely excited to show it all to you guys. If you're new here though, I welcome you to the channel and let's get started. So I did in fact have to wait to the next day just to get out and try to video this one. The weather was starting to take a turn for the worse. Winds were gusting of upwards of 25 miles per hour. But this thing is extremely interesting. The hidden bunk rooms found on these models, I absolutely love. You can convert this one maybe into an office space, utilize it for maybe a huge walk-in closet, or maybe even just utilize it for what it's intended to be, just a hidden bunk room for smaller guests. However, the new hidden bunk rooms are still going to give you all the additional living room space that you need. Typically, when you take a camper 36 feet in length and you make two full bedrooms inside of it, you sacrifice a lot of the living room space and that's exactly what Vibe is trying to avoid. By giving you the hidden bunk room, you still get all of the additional living room space found on the back. Again, this is model 31H. We are going to step inside, get you turned around, but I'm extremely excited to show you this one. There's several changes that Vibe has brought to the table. A lot of attention to detail found in this model here as well. Let's start in the kitchen and then we'll make our way towards the back. So two total slides on board. Both of them are right here between your living and your kitchen. Really nice coffee prep station over here to the right. And talking about storage, wow. This thing is unbelievable. Not just one, but two pantries found on board. Really nice refrigerator. That's a right at 11 cubic foot Furion fridge. Works off of the battery, which by the way, there is a solar panel found on the roof. Speaking of fridge, this is your second mini fridge. I guess this is supposed to be like a wine fridge, but of course it'd probably just be holding a big jug of tea, maybe a couple of sodas and some milk for us. Solid surface countertops found all the way throughout the kitchen. I like that a lot, but this is a really big game changer for me. This is the window that almost took me out. So it releases from the four points all the way up and it will lock in place. Well, at first I was kind of like, I'm not sure how I'm going to like this. What about maybe keeping the bugs out and giving you the screen? Well, if you're wanting to keep the sun out, they give you the full blackout shade, which I absolutely love. But there are some changes that I think would make a little bit more sense. And what do you guys think? Maybe relocating the sink over here and putting them in at your fridge or maybe even a dishwasher in the island, including that those full pullouts, the four pullouts right over here. I just think it makes a little bit more sense. It gives it a little bit more character. Let's look at your actual kitchen area up here by the stove now. I like the backsplash. It's not a real subway towel. It is still the plastic material, but at least it runs from the countertop all the way to the top of the cabinetry. A couple of GFI outlets your standard RV oven, three burner top, and of course your standard microwave. Again, 12 volt, 11 cubic foot fridge. Fridge is on the bottom and the freezer is located up top. But lots of storage. I think it's great. You know, the fact that you still have all the additional room that our traditional rear living travel trailer is going to give you but you also get that second room so let's now look at your living area slash entertainment and maybe even your dining room all back here in one we'll start with the dining room area so solid surface countertops back here for what is supposed to be your table area but let's look at something else let me close the blinds 
This is interesting. This is the first. We'll see if I can pull these down. Look at that. That is so cool how they all just retract all and it's just like one big claw. Very, very thick too. And the back of it actually has like this high white material maybe to assist with keeping some of the sun down. So I wanted to give you guys a better view of the inside curtains. So I decided to wait until as you can tell, the sunlight is just right here on this side of the coach. So let me step inside and show you guys this. Absolutely love the new design curtains that Forest River Vibe has actually brought to the table. I've only closed this side. But take a look. Maybe an extra something for the door would have been nice, but I feel like a lot of people are really gonna like these. What do you guys? Your chairs are just like a bar stool, leather wrapped, extremely comfortable. And you're probably wondering, well, why do you not have them all in place? Well, with that one in place, you have a problem opening the door for the hidden bunk room here. So you have to actually keep that one out of the way. We'll move it for now. But this is gonna be your view from the two Thomas Paine collection theater seats. Really big 50 inch TV. This does pull away from the wall and pivot a little bit. You got the electric fireplace right down there. That produces about 5,000 BTUs of heat. Your sound bar is actually built in. You have a JBL sound bar built into the Codex TV. And more storage space. I told you this thing is just absolutely loaded out with storage space. You have all this over here. You still even though this is a door, you have hidden pantry over here, and that's gonna be the lock. And that's gonna be the lock for the actual door to open. So, referencing the chair, if the chair is in place and you attempt to open the door, it's gonna hit the chair, not allowing that door to open. So, if you have a younger sibling that is maybe getting on your nerves and they're inside the room, put the chair in place, they won't be able to get out. Check that out though. Let me back up and give you a better view. I feel like I'm too close. Today I'm videoing with my GoPro, which to me seems to be a lot easier to use. The screen on my end is a lot smaller, so it's, it's kind of difficult to look at at times, but it still works a lot better, in my opinion, than using your phone. So stepping inside the hidden bunk room, ceiling height to five foot six, five foot seven. Of course, you got one bed here. I got the mat picked up because I want to get back there and show you the shelving. This bunk, of course, flips up on the wall. More additional storage here. Check out the steps. Maybe for younger kids to get all the way up on the top bunk there. And we'll come back and I'll show you the storage there. We'll go ahead and open this lock. We will lay this flat now. Breeze windows all the way throughout the guest room as well. And this is supposed to be a desk. This does lay flat. I don't think I can do it with one hand. Let's give it a try. So there is another chair located all the way in the front, but it will be placed here in the event that you want to actually turn this into maybe a private office space. And I still cannot get over these really awesome blinds. I think those things are absolutely cool. Let's close this. We're going to turn around and go over the slide right over here. So Thomas Bain Collection Furniture, both of these are theater seats. I like the white pillows. And these do have LED lights found underneath the bottom of them as well. This is not gonna be a flush mount on the side. It does have a slight lip and the floor material is just one big piece of linoleum. All the heat on board is coming from cabinet heat, except for one. You got the two vents here. You got a 40,000 BTU furnace on board, but right over here, there's the only floor vent in the entire RV that's to send the heat into your hidden bunk room there. I'm actually running out of breath. I'm still suffering from a little bit of tinnitus. I've got a slight cold still, but I'm, I'm able to make do. Let's make our way all the way to the front. I feel like we've gone over the living and the kitchen area quite well. I love the doors. Stepping inside, you got a queen size bed. You do in fact have the second air conditioner already installed swing around you got TV connections you maybe come out maybe a small 32 inch TV there so you should still in fact have 
ductwork from the main air conditioner in the front. So if it's on, you can possibly feel the breeze blowing from back here. This one is also duct, but you can also just open that up to have it all drop right here in the bedroom for you. You've got two closets on board. This is the first one right here next to the bed. That one's gonna be open, so it gives, I guess people that are claustrophobic a little bit more room. But this is your main closet for your bedroom. Gives you a pretty cool little organizer there. I guess I could have turned on the lights. Your mattress, we all know that these things coming from the factory are not the best. That is probably the first thing that I do recommend upgrading once you get your new RV, pretty much regardless of which brand you pick. We all know, or if you don't, I wanna let you know, the RV mattress is not the inside of these things from the factory are not the best. And your cabinetry over your bunk, which are soft closed latches also. And under the bed, some additional storage in that little area down there. It's a really good place maybe to kick your shoes off at the end of the day to keep the dirt under control. And that is the chair, but office space. And this is something that I'm not understand why they even put inside an RV. It's like one big pillow, but I'm a taller guy, so that's really gonna be in my way. It's something that I'm gonna have to find a place for whenever I'm sleeping. Let's look at our bathroom. So 84 inch ceiling height on board the Vibe. You do in fact have the additional skylight for some additional headroom. That's a two piece plastic shower. Maybe about a 12 inch step up to get in. Your shower curtain is the retractable accordion style. Manufacturer claims there is a squeegee inside there but I do recommend leaving it open. And just for you guys that are curious that's something I think Vibe could improve on. That caused the mirror to crack, I guess, in transportation. The door came open I actually cracked that mirror. 60,000 BTU on-demand water heater. Controls located right here next to the bathroom sink and the shower. This is your seat from the toilet. That's a plastic sink, plastic faucet. I like the gold touch. And your cabinet underneath the bathroom sink. Soft closed latches. So the toilet is in fact a porcelain foot flush toilet and it's probably about 14 inches up. It has a pretty good pooping position for it. And this is all the controls to operate your side operations, your heated holding tanks, and then both of the air conditioners. So let's look at our sales price and MSRP sheet. So if you guys don't mind, go ahead and leave me a couple of thumbs up, you know, even a comment or two. They really do help my video out with as far as the analytics go. So at date and time, of making this video. Maybe you can pause the video to actually read the description on this. Bourbon decor, reserve package, 50 amp coach with second air conditioner already installed. That's a 13.5 air conditioner, by the way. $65,969.20. And of course, our sales price can be found at the link found in the video description, taking you over to our website. If you happen to have any questions that I did not answer in the video, I'll leave my contact information in the video description as well. You are welcome to reach out to me there. I'll also provide you with a phone number directly to my office. So you can also just pick up the phone and give me a call. I've spent several days on the phone with customers just talking about different makes and models that are on the RV market. That's quite okay. That's what I'm here for is to educate you guys. But this thing, in my opinion, is by far one of my favorite bunk models, or maybe not a bunk model. It's kind of like a rear living, rear entertainment. It's quite unique. But at 36 feet, 11 inches long though, I know the weight, again, gross vehicle weight rating, is right there at almost 10,000 pounds. And this is the number that I always tell customers they really should focus on, the GVWR, 9,915 pounds. Power cord connection though, way up here in the front so if you're like mine location you got to plug it way back there mm, that can sometimes be a challenge your water management area is found right over here through the pass-through compartment your water line will in fact come up through the floor connecting to city water connection or maybe even the black tank flush depending on what you're doing you can even fill your fresh water holding tank there your pass-through compartment's pretty big it's got the pegboard on the other side that can be used to like hang up some of your stuff. 
and I always like to show the four joists under the bed for reference the size plywood instead of some of the composite material so this RV is also going to be leveled from a two-point electric stabilizing system not automatic leveling it's not going to level itself you still have to do some manual labor like getting it on a level pad of some sort but each of the jacks will have its own control system these will only go down until they fill about x amount of pressure before they completely turn off that's exactly what they are designed to do fully enclosed underbelly and there's another shot of the opposite side of the pass-through compartment your back doors are all gonna have slam latches on it which is very nice as well as the magnetic latch to hold them up so two different awnings this one's gonna be probably right at 10 feet as well as that one and your outdoor speakers are a little bit higher up under the awning you got a step above steps these fold inside the door and these are the ones I actually like because of this that right there that simple pin makes it so much easier to adjust compared to the ones where you have to actually fish a pin through another hole I like those a lot better cable driven slides and that's the window in the open position so what the wind did is that day is it actually just picked it up and slammed it so the wind just lifted it it's not like it's broken or anything that's just what happened to happen that's the set of rear jacks fully walkable roof with the attachment for the ladder on the back which is great it kind of gives you another option maybe to put other accessories on your bumper four by four tube of the bumper with a spare tire on the back come around this is going to be your slide out with the hidden bunk room and some additional storage right over here maybe a cool place to put like your water lines your sewer lines once you're finished camping and this attention to detail just to keep the door open very very nice silver connections on board you only have one all of your gray and black candles are going to be located right here and that's the exhaust for the 60,000 BTU on demand water heater and that's the exhaust for your 40,000 BTU furnace check out the spread on the axles really big spread to give you a little bit smoother ride going up and down the road but overall, I feel like Forest River Vibe has done an extremely great job with this particular model. Given the different changes that they've done with the curtains on the inside, as well as the way they've turned this whole entire slide out into its own little private room. I absolutely love this one. I'm going to give this one probably a 8 out of 10. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section down below. Continue to like and subscribe. And until we see each other again.